NBA Draft 2018 is presented by State Farm, here to help life go right. And in part by PlayStation, greatness awaits. Chicago Bulls are on the clock. Their pick coming soon. We've got some really cool backstage access for you. As you see, the number one pick in the draft, DeAndre Ayton, is going to his rounds and with all of the various media outlets. As I mentioned, Bulls on the clock, 27 wins, fewest since 03 04. Last time they had exactly 27 wins, they drafted Michael Jordan the next year. Should be so lucky this year. They acquired the number 22 pick in the Nikola Mirotic trade that came uh, just after the Cousins injury for the Pelicans. And then Lowry Markinen out of Arizona was an all rookie first teamer, averaging 15 points, seven and a half rebounds for Chicago this year. So Fred Hoiberg trying to rebuild that Chicago team, get it going. Who will they choose to go with Chris Dunn and Markinen and Zach Levine? Commissioner has the answer. We have an early trade to announce. The Atlanta Hawks trade the draft rights to Luka Doncic, the third pick to the Dallas Mavericks for the draft rights to Trey Young, the fifth pick, and a future first round pick. And now with the seventh pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Chicago Bulls select Wendell Carter Jr from Duke University. A versatile big man from the Blue Devils make it the third time that a pair of Blue Devils taken in the top 10. Jaleel Okafor and Justice Winslow did it in 2015. Our buddy Jay Williams and Mike Dunleavy back in 2002. Both in the top 10 and Wendell Carter Jr. who chose to go to Duke over going to Harvard, a bright guy he was terrific this season and really accepted his role once Marvin Bagley III reclassified and joined Duke this year. So a couple of Blue Devils going, and this seems to be a really smart pick from Chicago taking Wendell Carter Jr. I would not differ with that at all. Wendell Carter Jr. is an absolute work hard, a workhorse. He, he is strong. He is an outstanding rebounder that always goes after the ball with both hands. He's a two-handed rebounder. In the post, he's effective over either shoulder. He's got a very smooth shooting stroke. He shoots 74% from the free throw line and can step away and knock down a perimeter jumper. Very good with his back to the basket. Excellent feet, especially early on. He's got a turnaround jumper, jump hook, and, and a very smooth shooting stroke that will only get more fluid as time goes on. Is not the most explosive player inside. He certainly is not as explosive as DeAndre Ayton or Marvin Bagley III but he is really, really strong. He's tough to move around. Uh, maybe a little bit of a question mark as to how mobile he is as a pick and roll defender. His conditioning got better as the season went along, but he can block shots, and he reminds you a little bit of Al Horford in the way he plays, a young Al Horford, but I really like Wendell Carter Jr. I think he's got a tremendous future ahead of him. Jay, I agree with you. I do, I do see a lot of Al Horford in him, but I'm going with another Blue Devil, and that's Carlos Boozer. A guy who's very physical on both ends, doesn't shy away from any of that. Makes a lot of non-stat sheet hustle plays that you love to be on the team with. And I just love who took them. I love what they're putting together there. I like their backcourt with Dunn and Levine. And these two big guys, him and Markin, are going to play very well together. Wendell Carter Jr. going seventh overall. It's a guy who acted in high school, as you see Wendell's dad and Marvin Bagley's father embracing and celebrating after the one year at Duke, and it has paid off both being taken in the top seven of the draft. Wendell Carter Jr. is with Maria. Wendell, we just saw your dad. He's very emotional right now in the green room, and he played overseas in Puerto Rico, but his dream for you was to play in the, in the NBA. What does it mean to make that step? Um, it means a lot. You know, my, my dad, you know, wanted to go to the NBA at some point. Didn't work out for him. Like you said, went overseas. And it's like he's living through me. And uh, just for me to be able to walk across the stage, it's like it's a presence with me and, and him. I know that you worked out for Chicago. And so what strengths of your game do you think will fit into their system? Uh, just being a hard worker, coming in and doing whatever they, they ask me to do. Just being the, the, the best rebounder. You know, taking more shots, taking great picks for other players to get open. It's whatever I have to do to win. 
All right, so now you and Marvin Bagley are top 10 picks. Uh, what does it mean for a couple of Dukies to go in the same draft? It feels good, you know, from the first practice when we first met each other at Duke to now both walking across the stage at both top 10 picks is, is just an honor. All right, well, thanks for your time, Wendell. Thank you. Reese? And Maria, you see Wendell Carter shedding a few happy tears, and understandably so. Wendell Carter Jr. says that he plans to get his degree. He's always been a terrific student. He acted in high school as well, a very 